I think we need discipline and Ghanaians have to realize that all of us are also part of the problem. You know, we are always looking up to governments to solve problems for us. But we should also ask governments, how can we help? What responsibilities can we uh, take upon ourselves? You know, uh, If we are talking about the state-owned enterprises, having uh, a balance sheet that is sound, so that they can go out and borrow and improve electricity, water, and so forth for us. We have to decide, are we prepared to pay the right price? Of course, our constitution mandates that we look after the needy. So there has to be a basic minimum, uh, basic minimum to take care of the poor. But those of us who don't fall into the rank of poor have to pay a cost reflective plan so that we can generate the resources to expand the facilities as population is growing. So we should ask ourselves, what can we do? As citizens, do we pay our taxes? As citizens, do we make sure that if electricity is short, you know, we do not waste. We always turn off our lives. They are small, small than, you know, throwing garbage around. We dirty the place and we want to spend money to uh, correct it. And also making sure that politicians know that we expect them to do certain things, not just win elections, not just fight for elections, but also fight for our welfare. Some of the things he said were quite refreshing. I require to say that they've not yet gone for any bailout from the IMF. Because remember during our media address, we caution government not to rise for the bailout. Uh, we're hoping that the outcome of these meetings here may probably help us to uh, agree on which direction. As early as the beginning of the year, we advocated for uh, a national consensus on dealing with the, I mean, the economy. We really call for a, a forum like this. So we are happy that this forum has uh, been, uh, I mean, has taken place, and we're hoping that the outcome of it will help all of us in, uh, the, I mean, I, I mean, I mean, the direction the country is supposed to take. As it is. Uh, times are really hard. Everybody's feeling the pinch of it, and it's our it's our hoping that it's our hope that uh, as quickly as possible, some solutions will be brought to uh, deal or, or to grapple with the challenges that we're going through. What entrepreneurship is about? I mean, private business means risk taking, and for that matter, maybe at this point in time, as business owners or as business operators, we have not really taken enough risk. But then we also need that level of macro stability in the country for us to take whatever decision so that we can plan into the future. Yes, we agree with the president, yet we also want to see the kind of stability in the economy that will let us predict and plan for the future. If the president, uh, listening to the president by his comments, uh, I think just by hearing him, I think he's on the, he's on the right track. The question is the implementation, which is what I'm worried about. Uh, in Ghana, we do a lot of talk shops. Okay, the question is uh, even if the recommendations and uh, committees or even the outcomes or the recommendations from those people that we made them in charge to see, uh, most of the time it's not even adhered to. That is my biggest challenge. I cannot say I disagree with the president in terms of his vision or his ideas as to make the economy become, quote unquote, in sort of, a, uh, what's, the, what's the term they are using now, something middle income, but they don't want us to go to the proper full middle, lower middle income. Uh, so if he has the ideas as to how to push uh, even half or even a quarter of Ghanaians into the middle income, I'm sure it will be a plus and a positive thing for him. My fear, and I, I repeat again, is that after this, what will happen?